Hello everyone! Welcome back to another live commentary battle. Bretonia. Nope. Greenskins. Nope. <laughs> Dwarves. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be playing as the Beastman. Who would I want to play as? Mm. I always just want to play as Greenskins, usually. Uh, but we're not going to do that because we just did. I'll try the Vampire Counts. Maybe. Alright, let's see. Vlad is very strong. Very, very strong. You never see Helm and Gorst, though. I don't know if he really has any advantage in this particular matchup. Besides just being a necromancer. Hmm. He does have that White King spell. Or it could just be a Graveguard spell. Which Graveguard would do well against dwarves. Sure, you know what? Why not? Why not? We'll do it. Do we bring him on his unique cart? I think we do. I believe that has some of the bonuses from both the Unholy Lodestone and the Mortis Engine. I think it has the AoE of the Mortis Engine. I'm not, I'll, I'll look at it later. Uh, what else do we want against the Dwarves? We're going to need a strong infantry line. Stern's Guard, because of course you do. I could try the Cairn Wraiths. No one ever brings Cairn Wraiths. I think for a pretty good reason, because, like, Graveguard are just more reliable. Hmm. We'll tire the dwarves out with some zombies. And the can race are pretty fast. We can whip them around the flanks and kill more squishy targets. So I guess we can do that. Cav in general is going to be pretty good. Uh, doesn't really need to be the Blood Knights to be amazing against dwarves, because they don't have any Cav to worry about. Uh, Varix Reavers are probably going to be solid because of their regeneration and just their stats are pretty good. We're going to bring two additional Black Knights for charges and trying to get behind the front lines and two of their squishier bits like the cannons and things. In fact, do we bring three? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, Cryptoras are always a solid choice against them. Uh, against Dwarves, that is. We're going to have a Necromancer who can summon a White King. The Banshee to deal with like Thanes and Ungram. Would she do good against Ungram? I don't know. Ungram has a lot of armor piercing. And that eventually would wither her down. She doesn't have many hit points. Oh, buddy. Hmm. Let's see. Two Karen Rays. We have a solid front line. Sternsman. Decent amount of Cav. Cryptor. Honestly, a vampire. I think I would want a vampire. Alright, let me get rid of a zombie so we can even put her on the field. And then we're going to take away some of her spells. We don't want Soul Blight. Basically, I just want her um, Spirit Leech. That's really all I want from you. Because Summon Gorse cannot cast those types of spells. Speaking of, though, we need to actually activate his cart spells. And... Take away that. We'll keep Gaze of Nagash. We'll keep Invocation. We'll keep that. Items. I don't remember what yours is. Improves power recharge rate. Uh, no. We have 800 left. Her on a flying mount would probably be better. Where's the mounts? There we go. So let's stick her on a flying mount. Uh, we don't... I guess we can keep both of those. Starting in 30 seconds. 800 gold left. We could just get another Crypt Horror. This is a non-conventional build, but you know what? Sure. Buff up the Grave Guard to hold a little bit longer. That may not make that much of a difference, really. Eh! I never bring Helm and Gorse. I don't know how this is going to go. But theoretically, we have a lot of fast units with the Banshees, all of the Cav, the Cryptors. We can get through the front lines and hold them down with the Zambies and the Grave Guard. Grave Guard will do pretty good against Dwarf Warriors, against Longbeards. Um, if they have great weapons, that could be a problem. Definitely be a problem. In case you're wondering, I kept that shader effect on, so this may look a little different. Also, I need to... Yeah, I would do like that. That's better. All right. As a dwarf player, they are probably going to set up over here on a hill. 
That is my guess. We don't really have much cover on the approach, which is terrible. We can spawn right up here. So yeah, they're probably going to be... It's going to be like long beards, cannons. They may have gyrocopters, actually. If they do, our vampires should be able to handle one group, at least. She is flying. She doesn't have armor piercing, though. I don't know how that would go. Alright, let's take all of our people, just put them back here. I hate these snow maps because it's so hard to see these, like, so many things. Okay. Hmm. Let's do this. Try and deploy in a thin line to lessen the effects of uh, possible. Whoa, what? Possible cannon fire? Banshee's kind of on the flanks behind. Again, I think they're going to be on this hill, so that's why I'm deploying over here. Where is the edge of our deployment? Over here? Again, I can hardly see the yellow line. Barrack Shriever's behind. Do that. I will raise them. Helmet Gorse could be a target if they have um, cannons. The <gasps> Wait, what? I didn't put her on the mount? I'm sorry, what? Did I not? I swear I selected the mount. Okay, she is not as useful. They will come. Anymore? Put you all in group one. Well. What? It is done. Why would you do that? Oh my god. I'm in your throne. Okay. I guess I could have hit start battle. Oh, look at that. They're over there. We immediately charge. We're going to march in formation. All right, what are we looking at here? We got long beards, great weapons. Ah, uh, okay. Dwarf Warrior, Dwarf Warriors on the flanks, we have two Thunderers, we have one Cannon, a group of Slayers, Runesmith, Ungrum, because of course, double Runesmith and Ungrum. Ugh. And then a whole bunch of long beard great warriors in the front. Alright, we're going to get these people behind just to um, mess with them here. Are they attacking my Sternsmen? No, they're attacking my Graveguard. How are the Thunderers positioned? They're looking over here on the left. Yeah. We're going to get behind. They're probably going to spread our cav around to encircle. You do not want to stay out too far. Let's start canceling out some of that damage. Invocation to heck. We will be wanting our Cryptors. I can't see any of the yellow lines, like any to indicate where the hell my army is actually going. But we're going to want to. Am I doing it right? There we go. I think I'm still in formation. Actually, hold on, hold on. No, don't charge yet. Don't charge yet. Pull out, pull out.
Whoa, where are you going? All right, now we're just trying to close in on their squishier bits. The Cryptors are going to destroy these Dwarf Warriors and these Thunderers, which I'm slightly worried about. We're going to spawn some, um, another, or, or Viking. Actually, no, we're just going to spawn Graveguard. I understand. Where's Ungram? Uh, we'll hit that Runesmith instead. What? We're trying to cycle charge out of here. We need to finish this little fight up. Oh, those are the Slayers. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Get away from the Slayers. We'll let the Vampires start hitting them. We've knocked out the Cannon, which is good. Now let's collapse in behind these Dwarf Warriors with one of our Wraiths. Helm and Gorse is just going to be in nearby for support. We're going to pop a Invocation of the Heck on our um, warriors here. We'll throw in those units to the Slayers. Barracks Reavers, you want to cycle charge out. Actually, we're going to charge the Slayers. Try and finish them off real quick. You're going to crash in behind the main line to support. Now pull out. Pull out. Uh, vampire. We do not want you to fight Ungrim. Now we're going to throw you in. Actually, we're going to throw you in against these Thunderers over here. Murder them. Let's crush their front line again. Or finish off the front line. Helmagor is just going to kind of sit there and support. We're going to go try and take out these Longbeards with the Wraiths. I think that's a very favorable um, fight for them. Pull these Warriors out, or these Knights out. Again, Helmet Gorse is just kind of there to keep the Master of the Dead trait going. And he has the AoE from the Mortis Engine and the Unholy Lodestone. Cycle Charge out. We want to try and get these Cryptors out so they can... Um, Start regenerating. Ideally, we want them around uh, Helm and Gorse so that his AOB regeneration will hit them. We do not want them to die. We're doing pretty good. We've almost got this Runesmith down. Barracks Reavers are really good at regenerating. We're going to have these people and these Cryptors go around Helm and Gorse so they can just natively regenerate uh, from his AOB. We're just going to keep them pulled out of the fight for right now. We'll do a cycle charge here with the Varix Reavers, who are still in very good condition. There's really no rush to throw in our Cav that ceiling right now, because we are doing a really good job at murdering the rest of the um, people. Let's throw in the buff. And now we're just going to kind of regenerate, and the opponent left. Whew. I didn't really have a really good unit to murder. Just in case I want to watch that again. Um... To murder Ungram Iron Fist. I didn't have a good one to do it. I had no healer killers. Not really. I could devote a Cryptor to try and bring him down, but that's I don't think that's really the best use of the Cryptors. So what I did right there was I just tried to ignore him the best I could, crush their army, because if we can do that with all the cycle charges of the Cav and the Cryptors. Uh, how did the race do, by the way? They did really well. They did really well. They shut down the Longbeards. The thing is, these Longbeards with great weapons, uh, their whole thing is armor piercing, but that's kind of thrown a little bit to the waist against Karen Race. I'm not surprised they brought so many great weapons, though, because against a Vampire Count, you're going to see a bunch of Graveguard, which I did bring, to be fair. Uh, you don't usually see the Karen race, but I think they did pretty well. Now, they would have done better if I had teamed them up with the... What is the spell I'm thinking of? What's the buff spell I'm thinking of? Van Heel's Dance Macabre from the Necromancer. If I had actually brought that, I wasn't thinking. I should have brought that spell because then that buffs up their 18 melee attack to like a 40 or a 45, which makes these things super dangerous against dwarves because that means their hits are going to hit more often and they are armor piercers and they're going to be ignoring 80% of the damage dealt back to them. 
But anyway, good game to my opponent, uh, the King Stacker. I hope you enjoy that. Those man, those slayers, 50 kills. The, but the thing is with dwarves, they don't have many answers to cav. So I brought a lot of cav. We disrupted them. We took out their cannons really quick. We kept cycle charging the thunderers. We got our. Uh, we said forget the front line. I held them down with the grave guard and the um, zombies. And then you saw me whip the cryptors and the race out to the flanks to try and kill all the squishier bits behind. Because I knew that the grave card can hold for a long time. They're designed to hold for a long time. So while they were doing that, our killers were out in the back murdering the rest of the army. But anyway, decided to do a uh, cinematic battle here because we never see him in Gorst. Something I didn't talk too much about is that his cart was giving an AoE regeneration on top of his Master of the Dead aura. And also a plus 8 attack and defense to everything that he was around. So he has a pretty good support unit. But as you saw, I didn't really actually throw him into battle because I think that would be kind of silly. But anyway, here we are charging the Dwarven lines. Our cav is already in place. Here's Varric's Reavers. You know, just doing what they do. And let me know if you uh, do not enjoy the shader that I am currently using. I kind of like it, but you know, it may not be for everybody. Anyway, you can see our zombies taking a bunch of hits here with, from those thunder. You know what? I'm talking as if I'm showing this for the first time because I forgot I did a live commentary. I'm just going to shut up and we're just going to watch. I will say, we made the Longbeards waste their charge on our zombies. That's part of the reason why you bring zombies, is for that specific reason. Then you throw in the Grave Guard. Just want to say that. Too many spell effects. Gorse just you know hanging out watching the carnage
I think this is them fighting the Runesmith. Oh, oh, that's the end. Well, thanks for watching again, everybody. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Take care.